Yali Madat, uh, welcome, bienvenue to the third and final day of Loom 2023. Shad, I'm kind of sad. I, I don't want it to come to an end, and I see you yeah. tearing up over there as well, too. Well, not yet, but wait until the end of the show, and, and I might. Yeah. This is also the final episode of Illum Daily, mm. and what an episode it is. Sports have come to a close. We know that arts have come to a close. We're going to bring it all to an end here. Uh, but we don't want to. No. We, we want to stay. We want to stay. I don't know if they want us to stay, but Hope we want to stay. Hope so. you do. I, and everyone's had a good time. Yeah. A, a fun fact for you. Okay. This show, it's been shot, and you know the meals have been served here in this building called the Peter George Center for Living and Learning. Okay. Fun fact is, Peter George used to be the president of McMaster University, and in 2008, mm -hmm. the university and Aga Khan University, when Firoz Rasool was president, signed a memorandum of understanding to extend healthcare education capacity wow. around the world. And Hazri Mam was in Canada during the Golden Jubilee to oversee that memorandum of understanding signing. And so the tie-in between Hazri Mam and these games is just um, Incredible, yeah. beyond, beyond imagination. The community spirit has been alive and well all throughout the games. Uh, people from all across the country and it just feels warm. Everybody's happy and you know excited. Uh, we put together a little uh, video clip for you at home. Uh, in case you weren't able to make it out here, we didn't want you to miss a thing. What's been your favorite part of Illum so far? I think seeing everyone from across the, the country from a long time ago and now and making new friends has been really, really wonderful. Uh, how everyone comes all around the world to come play sports, it's like, it's cool. Right now, I met these three beautiful ladies and they, they are my friends. The favorite part was uh, to meet new people and to know that there are other badminton players among Jamahat. My favorite part was uh, food uh, and the people, like lots of different people who made lots of friends. Yeah, I'm probably playing with my mom for the first time. <laughs> for me, this is a dream come true. I've always wanted to play with my daughter and this actually happened, so it's amazing. I came and bothered you at lunchtime. How's the food been? Tasty, delicious. <laughs> Any favorites? Uh, actually, the, the beef patty yesterday. Yeah, the beef patty yesterday <laughs> was amazing. I have been searching high and low for a cup of chai. Have you been able to find one yet? Yes, yes. Excellent chai, beautiful, like uh, tasty, tasty chai. Where is it? Oh, gone. I drank it. <laughs> What's your favorite sport, Kaden? Soccer. Soccer and eating goldfish. Are you an Olympic goldfish athlete? <laughs> what do you want to say to the people who maybe weren't able to make it out here and they're at home watching? What do you want them to know? I want to say if there is another opportunity, don't miss it. As I said, it doesn't matter if you win or lose, but being here, meeting new people is worth it, all of them. I, I just say that we miss them tons, but it's been lovely to have all of the like live broadcasting and everyone's posting a ton, so hopefully they feel like they're part of this energy. and Keep going. Work hard, play, and next time you will be here. And age does not matter. Age yes. does not matter at all. Just go, 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 go. What's the best part of being a smiley? Having community and having everybody there for you, cheering for you and writing for you. That's the best part of being a smiley. Ah, that's so cute. Just how we're all bonding together. We come together, you know, anytime you see any smiley or somebody, Yali Mother, you know who they are. Following Hazri Mom's Farmans with better practices, meritocracy, and seeing that happen in every stream and every vein of living is truly like, we are leading by example. The Smiley community is, they've been extremely respectful. I've had very good conversations with the people around here and it's, it's fascinating for me to learn about kind of the culture and, and what you guys bring here. I am from Brampton, I'm here to referee and so far we've had a wonderful, wonderful experience. The respect we get from the community, the respect we get from the players, from the coaches, from the managers and from the organizers of the tournament is top notch. Being a smiley is being united, being uh, you know true to each other and being there for each other. And we are one Jamaat. Like in this place, we proved we are one Jamaat. Team BC, let's go. Go Bears, go. Go, Ready? Three, two, one. Quebec and Maritime, allons-y! Go, 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 Go,
Edmonton, what's up? <laughs> so as we just heard, it's not always about winning or losing. Mm -hmm. And Mona has your mom himself has said sport specifically is also about taking care of the body and mind. And you know, we've seen a lot of arts throughout the weekend and, and art is really food for the soul. That's right, yeah. Uh, but, but winning and losing is also important. It is, yes. That's why we're all here. We're all here, you know, with our eye on Dubai, a chance to participate in the global encounters yes. that's going to be happening in 2024. Super exciting times yeah. ahead. Uh, here's a look at some of the athletes that are going to be on their way. I would like to thank Canada Illum 2023 for a fantastic four days. We had a brilliant time. Competition's been fantastic. I think I've um, been playing CIG and Canadian games for a while and this is probably the best competition we've faced so far, so it was yeah. amazing. Overall, the Illum experience was amazing. Like, after seven years of not really doing anything with, you know, our country's Jamath, it's nice that we were all able to come together. You know, we've all gone through COVID together, and now we're all coming out of COVID together in Dubai. The international games are such a beautiful experience. I've had the opportunity and honor to be in Kenya and Dubai, and it's just, it's out of this world. Like, you're there with so many athletes. You just see this beautiful nature. The whole time I was playing, I was thinking about going to Dubai. I'm like, okay, you know, I take this, I'm going, right? So, uh, yeah, I mean, waited for uh, this moment for seven years, played a lot, so yeah. It's done. It's a chance for me to meet new people, make new friends, and compete at a different level of swimming. And it, it seems like it'll be a fun event for me and my family to attend. We're trying to create unforgettable encounters that light the human spirit. That is the vision of Dubai. That is a vision of all of Global Encounters Festival. And we're in it together for eight amazing, spectacular, unforgettable days. You know, you hear the sound of those medals clunking around oh, yeah. everywhere here on campus. They're loud and heavy. I think I'm gonna hear that in my sleep, actually, <laughs> which is not a bad thing. No, it's it's no. good to have hardware, you know. Um, we're so proud of the athletes for, you know, representing all of the different regions in yes. Canada. We're so happy to have you as well on board. You've been an integral part in all of this. So thank you to you at home that have been uh, joining us every day. And, you know, a big, a big sort of projection for this is to pass it on to the next generation, Absolutely. right? We want to keep it going. Yeah, and that's why we're so happy to have the youth as a part of this competition. It's not the first time no. youth have competed, but it is the first time that their competition here at Illum 2023 at the national level is earning them a spot at the international level. So we decided to talk to a couple of people who have participated in these games and who might have the chance to go to Dubai. It's so cool that they do stuff like this. like. I don't know, I know just playing with like your own club team and like that kind of thing, they're like my second family, but it was really cool to like be part of this and I've met like people that I haven't seen since I was a child. It was a really cool experience. It's amazing just like knowing that we're like representing the youth girls BC team is like just amazing and shocking to me. Like it still hasn't sunk in completely that we're like BC's youth girls, a smiley team. Oh, so excited. I knew that um, I had a good chance and I knew that I had the talent from before. Now uh, playing in an environment where I'm playing with my community is, is a great experience. Yeah, as you know, currently the Global Encounters Giving Campaign is ongoing. Your donation will scale programs in the arts, sports, culture, and youth development and bring hope and inspiration and connectivity to the entire Jamaat. To be part of the Giving is Uplifting campaign, you can visit the.ismiley slash global encounters slash give to make a tax deductible contribution. All right, I know all of you at home have been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. Mm -hmm. It is a bit sad and maybe sadness is a, a, yeah. bit of a bit of a, the theme today because we don't want to go, but we also don't want this to be the last time we see our special correspondent Hussein Madhavji on the ground experiencing Illum 2023, uh, but it is. 
but that's okay. Yeah, and a big part of being a smiley in our community is giving of our time. Uh, volunteerism is something that's very important to us. And shout out to all the amazing volunteers yeah. that have put this weekend together, whether they were, you know, giving directions, handing out snacks, providing medical aid to all of our athletes. They've been integral in lending a helping hand. And uh, yeah, Hussein, like you mentioned, on the ground, getting it all so that we can share it with you. Now, can anybody come up here and take whatever they want? Yes. So, for example, if I wanted to take a plum, a banana, and some granola bars. It's okay. If I want to take five granola bars and all the plums. It's okay. What is the hype squad? So, we're basically just hyping up the crowd. I-L-L-U-M-E, come together, you and me. This is the exclusive lot. Like, not anybody can park in there. Because I tried to park in there and I got turned around. Uh -huh. Go on. What else? What else? I can let you park here. Really? Yeah, sure. He's just saying that because you want to look good on camera. <laughs> so, you know, the ethic of our, of our faith, you yeah. know? Uh, 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 Hazri Imam is the one who guides us. He's been there for us for 66 years, serving the Jamaat. The least we can do is give back. You know, the dedication of our volunteers has never ceased to amaze me because they work around the clock and the service really comes from the heart, myself included. But one thing that I learned, this is Amina Jiwa, the command center head for the transport, all the transport volunteers. First one's here, last one's out. 21 hours a day is what I'm hearing. This is true. We, we just love making sure things are happening and that uh, the Jamaat gets what they need. And that's what volunteerism is all about for me. You know, Ali is editing this very piece you're watching right now. So this is, uh, you have to make me look good, okay? I just promise. Sure, sure. Yeah? yeah. I'll, I'll get you some extra chai and cookies on the side. You don't worry about it. I'll just, we'll hook, I'll okay. hook you up. Okay. It. Where does that energy and that drive come from to do that kind of setup? So this word volunteer, like there's this energy, there's this light that mm -hmm. you have in you. Mm -hmm. You can't explain it, you can't show it. It's just there, and you just do it. I came here to support my daughter for okay. the games. Yep. So I said, let me help them out and uh, set up. So I helped them in the registration for Seva. And you didn't just do all this for the free t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> you can be honest between no, just the three of us. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Let me tell you something about Illum 2023. None of this would be possible without our volunteers. And to all our volunteers, we want to say, Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Hello, hello, hello! Is our uncle, is that okay if he takes a, a plum? No, no, he had to ask for it. Can I take a plum? Sure, I give it to you. Thank you, Nizar Uncle. Okay. Appreciate you. All right, Earthly Corn. Okay. <laughs> Hussein is absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. None of this would have been possible here this weekend and in the lead up to this event yes. without the uh, hard, tireless work of the volunteers. And we would like to proclaim Hamilton, Ontario as the City of Cups. Yeah. For good reason. Yes, the very first Tim Hortons was born right here in 1964 in yeah. Hamilton. Yeah, so. and we wouldn't have survived this weekend without Tim Hortons, no, so that thanks was our for that. Diet. Yes. Yeah. Uh, secondly, the Stanley Cup was here as well, too, so that was really cool to see it at the arena, and yeah. you know, all the athletes got to interact with it and see it live in the flesh, so that was super yeah. special. And uh, the Grey Cup, the CFL, is going to be celebrated right here in Hamilton in November. So, yeah, cups on cups on cups. Except we, we, uh, we didn't have a a cup of chai. No. Did, yeah. did you, were you able to find I was, a cup I wasn't chai? able to find one. <clears throat> did someone say cups of chai? Oh, Hussein. On demand. There Thanks, you go. Hussein. Well, well look since, at that. since we have our chai, yes. um, we are ready to on. sit back and relax and take a look at a really heartfelt compilation. The sports tournament has come to a close mm -hmm. and here are the best moments.
you know, those are just some of the moments. There's been so many special moments, so many special people involved yeah. uh, in this weekend here at Illum 2023. I'm not crying, you're crying. I'm not crying, but it does look like you are. Do you need, uh, do you need something? Uh, thank you, Shayad. It's been a wonderful yeah. weekend. Um, we'll see you all soon. Yeah, see you in Dubai.